What did you find? What were the most common types of inner experience that people have? Well, I sometimes refer to what I call the five FP or five frequent phenomena, which are inner speaking. People do talk to themselves sometimes. Inner seeing, most people call that seeing an image. I think there's a lot of reasons not to call it that, but people have visual imagery. And that's two. The third is sensory awareness. Sensory awareness is I'm interested in some particularly sensory aspect for its own sake. Like we're having this conversation and I could be drawn to the blue of a blue of your background, not because the, the blue is important to me or important to our conversation or relevant to our conversation, but for whatever reason, I'm interested in the blue of the of the background. That's sensory awareness from my point of view. Then the fourth is feelings. People do experience emotions from time to time. And the fifth I call unsymbolized thinking. And by unsymbolized thinking, I mean I experience myself to be thinking about something, and it's directly before the footlights of my consciousness thinking, but there's no words and no pictures and no imagery or, or whatever. So I could be thinking, well, I'm, let's go have a hamburger. No, I think I'll have a hot dog. Something that would be that explicit hamburgers, hot dogs, but without the words hamburger or hot dog and no picture of a hamburger and no smell of a hamburger and no anything about a hamburger, except that I recognize myself to be contradicting my original thought about a hamburger and changing my mind to a hot dog.